Hey guys, what is going on? This is Larknockwan slash Agvalak, and welcome back to part 19 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. So last time, we took Kesempatan, and we have been enforcing this forward line, and the Polystralians came over the hills and killed one of our units, because we didn't see Mava there. Um, it's unfortunate. Our special forces are up here, causing considerable issues. We might be able to take Rahi this turn, and moreover, uh, let's see here, Tan maybe being attacked by a bunch of aliens. So that's an issue. Uh, we definitely want to move our apostles up, maybe deal with that. And we want to heal this worker while he's still in our territory, and then hopefully we can get him up and start building some magrails out to Kesempatan. Because I'd like, ideally, to uh, get some energy from that connection, and also be able to transport units there highly quickly. So we're going to begin building our magrail. We do have two heralds on lock right now, so we can send these guys out where we need them, and they will pretty much obliterate whatever targets we need to hit. Yeah, it looks good. Such a strong unit right now. Okay, let's see if we can't take out Rahi this turn. You know, one city here would give us 13 for Axite. That would be nutty. Bye, Rahi! And we will raise it, of course. We do not keep shitty cities. Sell your trade depot. And bring in reinforcements. This one will continue pounding the aliens into submission. And you know, for the sake of not getting killed by this wolf beetle, let's just bring him into the city. Just just for now. So they will attempt to take Rahi back, I'm sure. I just want to be out of it when they invade. Unless they take it back now. Damn it! And there goes one of our apostles. He fought bravely. That looks like a glitch of the border. There we go. Second there, I thought it said Elodie and Kevin the Cur had to clear war on you, me or you. And I was like, no, thank you, sir. The aliens attack. Good news is they're basically self-destructing on our door. And we'll just kill whichever one is a little too close to the workers. You know, I could buy that titanium, that would help out a bit. Um, did we lose? Yeah, we lost a worker up there, it doesn't matter. I want to hit this guy. And then we will invade the city, and Rahi should stay captured. This time. And we'll again raise it. No sit, no buildings there. All right, so in at ten, we did finish building this educator here, and we can. I'm actually gonna build the repair facility. I'm surprised we haven't done that already. Um, out in Juan Lai, we finished an educator as well. Here, I think it's probably wise that we build an organ printer. Some good science, and not many drawbacks. Let's get these guys. Oh, is this guy moving? And finished our thorium reactor in Gong Ren. For the good of Gong Ren, let's build a petrochemical plant. Don't seem to be any immediately better and more obvious uh, things to build. This worker can kind of just do nothing. So out on the front line here, we're very much more secure in our position. Uh, I could kill this guy. It would mean pushing into Sarek, and I'd rather not. We're going to leave it up to our bombers and our heralds. Sorry, what am I saying? The, um, the overseer and the heralds. Some good work. One of the things we might want to do soon is trade for, uh, for Axite, especially if we want to build angels or something else. So, Suzanne Fielding is not, she's at the top of the scoreboard, and she is not Supremacy. So she should have, yeah, yeah okay, she has five. 
and she's willing to trade. Wonderful. As Adam said, okay, so we will do that, trade is and the life just like that, we'll get some good old Firaxite. We'll keep, we'll hold on to that for angels. So these guys can fortify up. These ones can go deal with that alien issue, which is kind of shameful. And this. Needs to trade with Chiang Gong? Or can, can you. No, I mean, that's just a good yield for Tan. I'll, I'll keep that one rolling. This educator can go out here as well. Alrighty, so this educator has a bunch on his hands. He's gotta kill all the aliens down here. I'm sure that'll get him some good status, though. Level him up if it can be. So, you know, I'm thinking if I can buy out these tiles, we have a chance of culture expanding into the Fraxite Mines. So let's do that. Ah, it's a shame that they want to culture expand there. I can buy that tile out here, though. So, what I really want to force Tiangong into doing is culture expanding into one of these Fraxite tiles. Where does it want to culture expand? Uh, to these two tiles. So, I'll try to buy those out sooner rather than later and force Tiangong to eventually expand out into those Fraxite Mines, which I really would like, because we're low on Fraxite. We have been for a while. Alright, so I want to get these guys out building the uh, Magrail. Certainly a priority at this point. And they will continue bombing us, because they don't understand us. We are seven turns away from Neural Uploading, which will basically give us the ability to build the gate. No. Ah, uh, sorry. You like our Fraxite. Bunch of progress being made on military victories. Sorry, uh, of, di of the different victories. Bomb um, him, and hopefully the Apostle can clean up. Yeah. Yep, get wrecked. Alright, so we did get a quest. It's from our Soma Distilleries, so do you want plus 10% health from them, or plus 5% culture? I'm gonna go with culture, because I don't think health is that much of an issue for us. Then again, I might want to reevaluate this. Hmm, if we do keep growing... Again, I just don't think it's that much of an issue. I think in the long run, the culture will be a little better for us. And we can definitely give some upgrades up out here. We might want to pull back and heal up a bit. Um, Rahi's pretty much done for. Uh, we definitely just want to get these guys out. Out alive, if at all possible. Delete the worker. This worker can actually finish this plantation now. And this trade convoy can continue on trading. Right, now that this generator is done, um, we can get it up working on... The magrails with the rest of the workers. And where's this educator? Alright, down here. We'll get him north. If we can. This educator as well. This is really why we need the magrails so we can transport units north as we need them. And the heralds! Um, I'm just gonna heal. Nope, I'm actually gonna take this one out. And that one, actually, too. Why not? They're both incredibly weak. Take out two significant targets. I just really want to clear the way, so uh, we can mount a strike on Sarek if need be. Putting pressure on the Polystralians is good for us. Alrighty. So, I'm thinking, what I might want to do now is... Mm, Saber's just not going to be too good for us. I think we just want to hold on to what we have. Um, build maybe something to help. Like, construct those magrails like a worker or something. But that's about it. Doesn't really matter what we built there. It's either going to get burned down or recaptured quite shortly. Why don't you have these guys continue healing up? Actually, can we reposition them a little better? The answer to that is certainly yes. Yeah, it looks a little better, that angle. And... yeah. 
That's good. Okay. Put them all in defense mood. Get him up with the rest. So many workers everywhere. I'm trying to get everybody everywhere all at the same time. And let's just bomb these guys. I love how we're artillerying units like aliens and we're not killing them. Gives you an idea that they're not quite good until they upgrade. So they would try to retake Rahi. Sure, they'll succeed. They bomb me. Shameful display. We're gonna probably try to retake Rahi ourselves, and hopefully they won't be able to take it back with that Lancer, that lone one injured Lancer. Our special forces have done so much work up north. We must salute them. We will continue to fight the fight and take out enemy cities. Who has less health? You do. So you will take Rahi back. We will raise it, certainly. And, you know, we can actually kill this guy this turn. We will. Boom, bam, thank you, ma'am. Finished our worker in minute 10. Let's just go ahead and build... Hmm. What we might want to do is build... So start with some CNDRs. Um, because CNDRs will be incredibly good once they upgrade. And really help us fill out our gate quickly. Let's get this worker up north. Along with these other two workers. We have to move all of this stuff, really. This worker is still working on his magrail, but uh, let's just move him up anyways. I'm just going to build the magrail through the citadel and territory. I do not much care. And here we finished our organ printer. So now we can build the feed site hub for some good old culture. Or technet hub if we want more coverage. I'm going to go with the technet hub actually. So we can drop one between Sarek and Mava and help us out. Alright, so we finished our petrochemical plant here, and we can build a hollow suite for more culture. This point is just about getting all the things we can. Alright, the network here is done. So we can build a bioblast furnace here that would cost a bit of, uh, a bit of braxite, and then increase our production even more in time. Um, or we could just opt to build an org printer right away. I'm going to start with the side nursery, though. So, how much really is 59 bolts like compared to the capital for example 77 all right so not all that much more which is actually odd considering you'd really think the capital would have a lot more but you know that many titanium mines just goes a long way let's put pressure on these invading battle suits and by pressure i mean destroy them completely Alas, we will have to hit him twice to take him out. We'll wait for our Tagnet Hub to go up, and then we'll put some real pressure on Sarek. Or perhaps it's maybe wise to put more pressure on Mava first. Hmm. Probably is. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this guy first. I don't know, I just, we, ha we have to deal with the units first and get Get some vision with a Tagnet Hub before we do anything. So, I want to move that guy in position though, just in case I want to do something with him. And get these workers where we need them. It's unfortunate we can't get him across the river, but ah uh, well. He will do where he is. And move these Apostles in for the kill on this nest. And he's offering a peace treaty if I'm giving him stuff. Which again, I'm going to say no, because you see, why? Why would we ever? We're benefiting immensely from this war.
Hopefully Rahi doesn't get taken. It is about to be burned down, though. Doesn't do good. And they are engaging us. The aliens, at least. Alright, let's back off and certainly heal these guys up. And he is now an expert. So we did just get our launch complex, which is odd, but, you know, I'm not complaining. It's probably from one of the cities we took, because I would... I can't imagine myself really building one. Um, just get the season upgrades on all these guys, and this one's gonna get a veteran upgrade. Foolish Polystralians, thinking that you can do things to me. Do we have that TACnet hub? We do, so let's go ahead and launch it now. I definitely want an overview of Sarek. This is good, and if we need to, we can also put can we put one? No, we can't. So, we have to choose wisely. Here, or... We could launch one here. Or here. Mava or Sarek? Mava or Sarek? I'm going to go with Sarek for now, because I think it just reveal more uh, sight anyways. Alrighty. So it gives us an idea of kind of what's around the area. Not much. I think this invasion will go relatively smoothly. Those guardians, though, deployed in those cities just make conquering them so difficult. Okay, then. So we're going to move in. Full force. And this guy can... Nope, can't do anything. bomb out some of these workers, but it's not really worth it. I'm just going to have them fortify and heal. Attract some ire on this unit, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Alrighty, so we finished our hyper core in Tiangong. So now it's time to do what we want with Tiangong. I'm going to go ahead and build a command center, just because it looks wise. Um, we only have 33 defense there. So we could, in theory, lose it very quickly. Um, yeah. Just keep on moving these guys up. Moving the workers up. Start some mag rails. And, yeah, we honestly need some workers just to move up, up, up. And this guy can move up. Alright, so we did finish our Technet Hub and Ganserig. So now, what do we want to do here? I'm thinking another feed site hub, some good old culture. Doesn't seem to be like a huge downside to that. Our Saturn nursery here finished, so let's go ahead and build an organ printer, or we might want to. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Some more juicy science. Keep bombing away with this educator. I was getting a wonderful training um, by blowing up those aliens. And let's get this guy across the river. And these guys can certainly engage to good effect. Let's turn these aliens red. Piss them off. That's what I like to do. Give us, give us a good science. Yep, nice little jump there. And this generator will be done right now as well. Alright, so the goal here is to get probably Ton to 10, maybe 11 people, and then shift it into energy bike mode, and it'll be producing an unbelievable amount of energy. This will be our energy city. And for that, we're going to have to cut down these two uh, forests here and build some generators there as well. Alright, so let's see how this goes. Definitely better than if we didn't have the Technet Hubs up. Still going to be close. I'm going to have to swap units out or pillage stuff or something. Because that's a little too much damage in one turn. 40 damage is quite a bit. But again, let's see if we can't take Sarek. The aliens try to push up on an Apostle squad. Did not work out for you. Intrigue level in Tiangong is increased. 
two, just over one. So I am going to assign a spy there before that becomes a serious issue. Yep, there we go. And we finished our CNDR in init 10, so we can just go ahead and make another or get a feed site hub. I'm going to opt for a feed site hub right now. Nothing against it right now. Um, we're just kind of sitting around waiting to get the ability to build gates. And then stuff will get glorious. So we could smash into Seric this turn. I want to surround the city. So let's be smart about this. I just want to get units where I need them. So does pillaging take up a movement? Probably. Yes, it does. Okay, then. I'm going to keep moving this guy, then. Actually, I want to definitely pillage this turn. Under the trade route. Oh, we're not at war with them. Oh, well. Let's pillage that, then. And get these guys closer to the combat. This Magra is being built. Um... I might just want to build it that way. I'm just going to start building where I can, when I can. This is very disorganized. I apologize for that, but it's not always a simple solution. I'm just going to build a sketchy line. It really doesn't matter. Because honestly, um, we don't have to really pay for any of it. I'll heal these guys up before trying to remove the miasma. This one's fine. And these guys and heal up, just like these guys up here. Let's pull them back down, actually. Just in case we ever have to deal with the uh, Kavithan invasion from the east. Fortify him, pull him in. Pull this guy in. And the Heralds, can they help us? I they can. I can't actually hit that guy, which I would have liked to. But next turn, we can use the Heralds to help bomb um, Sarek into submission. So we will. For now, let's put them on air intercept and keep on building these back rails. We have discovered the location of the nest. And we'll send this CNDR down to investigate. Sandyars will stay pretty much close to home, as we're basically going to be using them in the beginning uh, for a few turns just to feed the uh, gates before we get up. Really the main defense, which will, uh, or main food of the gates, which is going to be um, angels. It's a good thing we had those, um, what do you call them, heralds on intercept, because they really helped this apostle live. So both of these guys are going to live, but the question is if we're going to be able to get them out in a, in a way that's nice. I think the easiest solution would just be take Sarek. But do we have the firepower on hand to do that? We'll have to see. So we could attack directly with this guy um, if we move this one. Um, he's worth 27, this guy's worth 36. So let's just begin our invasion, though, with the Overseer here. It's a shame that we're not, uh, we couldn't attack one turn later, because this guy would have upgraded by then. Alas, we can begin the attack. 41 is a lot. Let's go ahead and do that first. Oh yeah, we're going to be able to take this down. I would like to hit it with my planes now, though. Such powerful planes. If we could do the cap with the injured unit here, that'd be actually really nice. Let's try that. Boom goes the dynamite. And let's go ahead and check this city out. We could liberate it to uh, Vadim Kozlov, but I, I don't think we're going to do that. We can't. There's no view option, so that's odd. Um, let's go just create a puppet right away. Yep, there we go. Just like in Kesempatan. 
I don't want to increase our yields or what we need for the next kind of stuffs too much. And anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next time because the time is up. See ya.